All right, people, let's run it back one more time. My name is Renee, and for the past four and a half months, I've been the one and only student from my university to go to Hong Kong for an exchange. I've made new friends, lots of friends, ate this and this and this and this and this, went fishing, started my YouTube channel, saw the Hong Kong skyline in the morning, in the evening, the ocean from this angle and this angle and this angle, played cello by the sea with my fellow Chinese. Look, that's my popo and turtles. Has my exchange program been hard? Eh, not really. <laughs> Time passed by way too fast with all that fun. And it's finally come to an end. Guys, I think I threw away my fork and my spoon in the trash Like my actual steel aluminum, I don't know So this week is my last week of school at HKBU. It's not really even a week of school. I just have like two finals left and then I'm gone. And so before I take down any of the things in my room, I wanted to show you guys just a little dorm tour. Right now it's 9 a.m. There's construction outside. This has been going on for like the past semester. Yeah, kind of used to it now. That was in fact a lie. Let's start with my desk area. Wow. There's a cork board above every desk, and I chose to decorate mine with colorful prints and photos. On this top shelf, we got my Instat camera, my keys hanging, and the 17 album. Over here, we have some of the tote bags that I use on an everyday basis. There's a cabinet underneath the desk that rolls out. On the top, I've got some of my washi tapes that I use for decorating. And inside, we've got more junk that I don't really use anymore except for these masks. Also underneath the desk, I've got my laundry bag. As you can see, it's almost wash day. Um, just wanted to show you how the plugs look like. Yes, you do need an adapter if you're an exchange student. Um, this switch here is for all the power sockets and every desk also has a light here. The cello I rented in Hong Kong stays in this corner of my room. On top of the mini fridge that we have in our room, We've got some of my snacks and also my roommate's snacks. This one was the one I was just eating earlier in the video. These are some of my squashed but really good mochi bread that you definitely have to try. I bought these in the grocery store. So our mini fridge has a tiny freezer inside and also a lot of different compartments for the rest of your food. You can see that we only have a few drinks and some snacks. For the bed, I was fortunate enough to have friends and family who I can borrow my blankets and pillows from. I know my roommate, she brought hers from Ikea nearby. And the only thing I have to mention about the bed itself is that it's only like a 3 inch futon in thickness. So it's not the most comfortable to sleep on. The bed frame itself has three drawers built into it. This first drawer, I just have a bunch of junk and other things that I bought in Hong Kong. The second one, I filled it with some of my clothes. And the third one is also more junk, but like for snacks. On the wall next to my bed, we've got the switch to the AC unit and some of the bathroom switches. 
and next to it I got this really cute art print about a bathroom which I thought was really suitable. Underneath it I got a menu from this bubble tea shop in Hong Kong and also a poster from the movie Suzume that we watched in theaters. And over here is a little orange theme from all the art prints that I brought from back home. The side of my closet already has a mirror that someone left behind and underneath it I put this giant poster of our symphony and the concert we were about to play. We're all given a trash can or a rubbish bin as my friends like to say. You can see my trash and my shoes here. On my closet door, I've got more anime posters for aesthetics. And inside you can see that it's pretty spacious. I have a lot of room for them on my clothes. You can't tell, but I managed to put all three of my luggages into my closet in one big luggage. And over here are just more compartments for extra things. In the cabinets above the closet, I just keep a lot of things that I wouldn't touch during the semester. Moving on to the bathroom, or the washroom as they like to call it. So here we do share with another room, and so there's a total of four girls sharing one bathroom. But as you can see, it's actually really nice, and I think it's the best part of the dorm itself. So the toilet is in its individual stall, and the shower is in the next stall over. It actually is different position-wise for different rooms, depending on where that room is. But in the beginning of the semester, they switched out our shower heads for something that is quote-unquote more mindful of conserving water. I actually liked the previous shower head. I thought that one was decent. And then this is the water heater that is on when you're showering. Twist it to the hottest water temperature you would like it to be. I prefer 37.5 Celsius. And then over here, for the handle, you twist it all the way to the left, which is for the hot water. And I'll slowly warm up to the temperature that you fix the water heater at. So shout out to Greg who taught me this because Americans, you know, our water is in the boiler, in the basement. We get really good sunlight in the morning. I think this is because we face the east, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, thanks for watching my dorm tour. I hope it was helpful and fun. And if you're ever on an exchange program to Hong Kong BU, you got this as a reference. So I made a little something for my HKBU friends. Also a goodbye thing because I'm leaving in a week. Like this. I don't think you can see it in this one. But this is this tiny pack of ramen that you can instantly cook from Muji. And then this is a matcha chocolate. Okay, these are also my favorite. I call it my finals snack pack. Now this is what you need for your finals. But before I pass them out today, I wanted to include a tiny like sticker that I made. I'm just gonna go to print it out on the first floor and then cut it and tape it. Some of them live on, live in, live in the south tower. So I'm here right now in the other tower. If you can't tell already, I had a pretty chill week for finals. The first final that was due for me was my drawing class finals. We had to draw two drawings and present it to the class on the last day. 
This is my teacher critiquing all of our drawings as we presented. For a sound design final, we put sound over an animation like this. I did some light studying for the final exam for my music ed class, performed two songs in front of all my peers and my teacher in this music computer lab. <laughs> Although all my finals were pretty chill, the one that was the most painful was actually my orchestra concert, mainly because they made us rehearse <laughs> Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night, right before the concert on Wednesday night. And I mean, yes, they did provide us with free food, but for the amount of times we rehearsed for this concert, it, it was not worth it, okay? <laughs> But I was glad to be part of an orchestra simply because as an exchange student, I got to meet all these other music majors and that in itself was pretty cool. I also had my last cello lesson with my teacher in Hong Kong and I was pretty sad actually to, you know, end this program here because I really liked my cello teacher. And I also really liked this bread that was next to his place. So definitely will miss both of them. <laughs> Last but not least, I have my cello final. So this isn't my first time practicing, but it is my first time practicing in HKBU's practice rooms. And the reason is because the practice rooms are so far away from the dorms, I never go there. However, I did have to go to the other side of Hong Kong to practice with my pianist for my final. But my favorite place to practice was on the first floor of our dorms. There's a big community room and it was perfect. which had two nice grand pianos. So we call this a music jury, and basically we just play for about 10 minutes of our piece or pieces for the jurors to judge, and then they give us a grade. I was so happy and relieved after I finished this jury that I immediately returned my cello back to the rental place right afterwards.
reflect and quiet down from the travel and busyness that went on in the past few weeks, I realized I was so overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with the shock that I felt on how fast time flew by. One minute I was on the plane to Hong Kong, and the next I was going back home. I was so overwhelmed with the bittersweet feelings that I had when I spent my final days saying goodbye to my friends and my family in Hong Kong because I also knew that it would be some time before I would ever see any of them again. Overwhelmed with a sense of grief, knowing that the only people who experienced the same things as me, laughed and had fun with me, and ultimately just lived life together with me would be the people I would have the hardest time contacting because of the different time zones and just the physical distance that makes the heart grow fonder, but also colder. And the past four months really did push us all together, physically, mentally, emotionally, and we just became so close naturally that it felt so cruel for us to be suddenly separated again just like that. But to me, That wasn't even the worst part. No, the worst part was how I knew that my mind would forget about all the memories we shared, the many blessings that got placed into our lives in such unexpected ways, and even the love and care I should still have for my friends and family wherever they are. I felt so sad because I knew that once I stepped off that plane, I would have to basically resume a sense of normalcy and a life that was similar to one before this whole experience. And when people ask me how Hong Kong was like, I can't even bring myself to explain everything that happened and everything that won't ever happen again. There's this one quote that I actually think about a lot and that's, things never happen the same way twice. No matter how much I wish for the same people to get together, the same experience, or the same feelings, it will never be the same again. But of course, there is a strong and steady anchor that will never be removed. A strong and steadfast God, whose mercies are new every morning, because great is thy faithfulness. And he alone will never change and will always stay the same. And that is who I will trust and hope and put my full faith in until I go home.